Welcome back. This is the second part of the uh, preparation for painting the Kef eggs. Uh, so I've separated the um, cover from the egg. Uh, you'll see this little bit of, sort of sticky stuff uh, might bit, be, pose a bit of a problem. Uh, just pull it off, uh, keep it in place. As I guess it stops vibrations. And then the other part, which is this sort of funnel, which uh, comes on the back of the egg. So I've just snipped off the cable tie. You have to replace it. And then this uh, tape, which is really kind of decayed and pretty nasty now. So uh, just take that off as well. Once you've got those two off, uh, you should be able just to pull this and then the whole thing will separate once you take off the four screws and they're in my little basket. So what you're left with is um, just the metal plate. Um, where the tape was, you can see it's just back to bare metal. And then what you want to do is using both thumbs, uh, I've done this already actually, so one thumb here, the second one there, just slowly push, go around, push, 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 and then uh, your grill will come out. Um, so I'm not going to do any treatment on the grill itself. Um, I might just tidy up some of the um, uh, little bits of uh, glue along the edges. Um, but to be honest, the grill's in good shape. I'll probably just wash them and dry them properly. So that goes into my little uh, pile. So what you're left with here is the uh, is the bare metal. So no real um, talent to this. Just get your nitrous uh, brush, pop that in. Just get a good amount. Uh, you can see it does its magic really quickly down into the funnel now you can do this in two or three goes the first part's always the most fun because it looks the best when you see it working Incredible, isn't it? So, a uh, good idea not to get any of this on your hands. In fact, an even better idea is to wear gloves, which I'm doing neither. Um, the awkward bit to do is uh, just on the inside of this little rim here, but what you can do is just specifically drop some in and then go around with your flathead screwdriver uh, and a, a piece of uh, cloth. So what you can now do very quickly is go against the brush. That comes off really very easily. And Pop that at the back. And then same for the little funnel. Just push that down. There you go. Um, and then just do a couple of other um, tries at it. And then just to finish it off, use your um, um, cellulose thinner just to get a nice, good, clean, and polish. So here's um, Blue Peter style, one I've done earlier. So all of the uh, paintwork's come off come around the edges and then I polished it up with the thinners, uh, screwdriver inside. And um, not done the back, not really much point to be honest. Um, as, uh, that'll be covered inside anyway, so I didn't bother wasting my time. Um, in theory, you could probably send this to um, uh, paint shop and just get it um, powder coated for a nice finish but what I'm going to do is um, you know it's ready to go I'm just going to give it a, a try at spray a nice even spray so this is a, a slight gloss and um, the finish is pretty good here's um, one of the feet um, so difficult to really see in the light. 
but um, uh, it's quite a nice gloss on that. And that's just using four or five very light coats, 30 centimeters away uh, from four different directions. And uh, you do that over a space of three, four minutes, and then you let it set for, uh, for an hour. And it's uh, come up quite well. So good luck and um, post a comment if you uh, have any ideas. Take care.